I'm always encouraging you to have at least two pieces of fruit a day, but they can be part of dessert. Now, pears are a fabulous fruit to cook with. Now, normally we kind of think about poaching pears, but I am going to fry them. Yes, you did hear that right. I am frying because I'm going to fry in a mixture of lovely different spices with extra virgin olive oil, and it will be absolutely delicious. This makes such a healthy, gorgeous, delicious dessert. So I'm just gonna quarter my pears and take out that core where the seeds are, leaving them in quarters just like that. Lay those to one side. Now into my bowl is going to go some spices. So I've got some cinnamon, I've got gorgeous little star anise, and a couple of cinnamon sticks, some sweetness coming from maple syrup, and a good glug of extra virgin olive oil. Now give that a stir just to mix through the ground spices in particular and to coat those cinnamon sticks and the star anise. And then we're gonna pop our pears in here and just stir it around until the fruit is completely covered with that deliciously spicy mixture. Making sure it's hot and in it goes. Making sure you get all of that lovely spicy juice. And just let the cinnamon sticks and the star anise Cook in the liquid alongside, because you're going to get that flavor. Of course, you're not eating those end spices, but they give that, God, it almost smells, I immediately thought they were mulled wine. That's what you kind of get. Now, while that's cooking, we're going to make a bit of a spiced, orangey, spicy kind of yogurt. So I'm using Greek-style yogurt, which comes from a fantastic Tazzy dairy. And the reason I'm using the Greek-style is that it's nice and thick, it's really rich in protein, but I just love that especially creamy flavour. Yogurt is one of the ones, it's an original fermented food, um, and it's one of the foods that just always comes out shining, associated with a whole load of different health benefits. It's just honestly, if you, unless you have any reason, like allergies or intolerances to dairy, this is one of the healthiest foods that you can get into your diet. Now I'm gonna spice it up with some, some cardamom, again, some cinnamon, and grate some of an orange rind. Trying to make sure you just use the orangey part, not the white under. So as soon as you've grated through the orange part, go to a new section of the orange because I don't want any of the slightly more bitter pith. And I'm going to then cut my orange in half and squeeze in some orange juice. A little squeeze of orange juice and then we'll give that a stir. <sighs> Something about oranges and spices, it's making me think of Christmas but you can eat this all year round. This is an unsweetened yogurt, so I'm not adding any additional sweetness other than the orange to that. And then just set that aside for the flavors to nicely meld together. Take a look at your pears, and you just want to cook these until you see the sauce kind of evaporates down and becomes nice and sticky. Turn your pears over again. See how they're becoming nicely caramelized and slightly browned on that other side? That's exactly what we want. Okay, we are ready to start plating up. So I'm gonna put a generous dollop of our nicely spiced yogurt. You can smell the orange, smell the spices. I'm going to take a couple of these pears. onto the top. And then don't forget about, of course we're not eating that cinnamon stick, but pop it onto the plate, because it looks so pretty, along with a couple of little star anise. And then just drizzle a little of the juices from the pan over the pears. And I'm going to finish with some chopped almonds, but whatever nuts you've got in your pantry are going to work a treat. And there you go. You're getting a serve of your fruit into the day, along with a protein-rich yogurt, all spiced up in a lovely kind of wintry, I don't know, mulled wine type flavors. It's just absolutely gorgeous.